This time on Dreamtime Sail, we leave Stunning Bait Reef to visit some of the Whitsunday Island's most beautiful locations, starting with Langford Reef. We spend the night at Stonehaven before making our way to Tongue Bay and the truly spectacular Hill Inlet. We discover the outstanding Chances Bay and walk across Whitsunday Island to the world famous Whitehaven Beach. It's a tropical holiday in 20 minutes. the most amazing stay here at Bait Reef but it is time for us to drop the mooring lines and head on into the Whitsundays. We're looking forward to catching up in the Whitsundays on a few anchorages that we have never been to and we have got glorious weather. So it's turn around and follow our track out of here. So we know that we didn't hit anything on the way in so the theory is we shouldn't hit anything on the way out. But oh, what a glorious reef. SV Belindra is just heading out. Going to be in front of us today, instead of us behind. We have hit that magical mark, Rob. What's that magical mark? It means we're outside of the green conservation zone. So now we can see whether we can pick up another fish. Yeah. Or two. Or two. <laughs> yes, we have been eating all of our fish. So we are needing to pop some more into the fridge. Okay, fish. You are most welcome to come aboard and we will invite you to dinner. You will be dinner. Galindra that back there behind us and I see Liam is now organising his rod. <laughs> Let the competition be on. He wants fish. <laughs> a modest breeze was forecast, so we raised the main and mizzen sails in anticipation of its arrival. But the reality was another windless, glassed out day. So it was motoring all the way across the main shipping channel towards Hayman Island and our planned lunch stop at Langford Reef. up a marine park's mooring at Langford Reef just south of Hayman Island and with the tide nice and low headed into the exposed sand cave. While I put the drone in the air, Karen jumped in the water for a snorkel. While the coral and fish life was disappointing compared to our last visit here a few years ago, it was still lovely to cool off after a hot windless passage. Well, you took our 
our lunch break in the water, which is fabulous at Langford Reef. And we've come back, of course, famished. We kind of like a nice hot um, bit of meal after we've um, been snorkeling. And our simple lunch is these. It's just a wrap with ham and cheese in it. I wrap them up and then we cook them just in a small skillet and they're nutritious and yummy. With the wind building from the north, we opted to move a short distance over to a more protected anchorage at Stonehaven on Hook Island for the night. Second mooring line's coming off, so I suppose I best get back to the wheel. That'd be a good idea. <laughs> Belinda are out in front this morning, and wouldn't you know it, they've hooked a fish. The phone's just called, and they say they have a marlin on board. What a great experience for these guys to actually pick up a marlin along here. They're doing the lovely thing, and they're going to let it go. They're a beautiful fish. They got it off. Fabulous. You certainly get some strong tidal currents around the Sundays, and certainly you need to watch them around the points. We are on auto at the moment and you can see that the bow is moving around quite a bit with these eddies. came across fellow Australian YouTubers sailing SV No Regrets as we made our way through Hook Passage. But with canvas up, they quickly left us behind. Once in the clear, we unfurled the headsail and were blown nicely down to Tongue Bay where we planned on picking up a moray. From Tung Bay, it's only a short walk up and over the headland to one of the most magnificent lookouts in Australia. Oh, wow. How's that for a first look? They designed this path very well. beautiful sand it's easy to pick up anything and we have seen a number of stingrays and at the moment we've counted 16 stingrays Rob 
may be able to see them down in this area. Just behind the jet skis. Rob, so why is it that we can walk on this white, white sand without burning our feet? Because it's very white and it reflects most of the heat. It's 70%, is it not? Pure silica. Yes, correct. That's what they say. It's one of the purest silica beaches in the world. Here we are. It's midday in, uh, well, it's almost November. And no problem at all walking on the sand. Try that on the Gold Coast <laughs> or somewhere and you'd already have the hot foots going. It's been a long, hard so there's a little bit of trivia for you guys. I'm feeling weary to my bones. I guess that's my reason. I've packed my bags How bad is it? Just got a short downwind run past uh, Whitehaven Beach this afternoon. And then we go through Solway Passage. Now, it's a place that can get some pretty weird currents and big wind over tide action. So we've tried to time it so we're going through pretty much on the low tide slack. Uh, and the plan is just duck around the corner into Chances Bay. We haven't anchored there before, so we're not sure how much room's in it. We'll have a look when we get there. And if it's a bit tight, we can just keep going to across the bottom of uh, Whitsunday Island and going to Turtle Bay. It's a lovely anchorage we've used before. This short run downwind, not worth putting up anything else other than the headsail. And it's getting us along nicely at four and a half, five knots. The second stop for our mystery tour today is into a lovely bay called Chances. And I think everybody else has discovered that it's a lovely bay as well. Quite a few sheltering in here, as you can see there's quite a little shop. Rob's just gone up to prepare the anchor. We'll be done. Sundowners on the beach, we understand tonight. That sounds like a good option. The following morning dawned with another beautiful Whitsunday's blue sky, so the Our Dreamtime and Lavinda crews opted to walk across the island to Whitehaven Beach. This is one very impressive bush turkey mound. This turkey's been using the same spot year after year to impress the females. Beautiful, beautiful, yeah. Beautiful. 
So the young guns are way in front of us and they've left this amazing sign for us. The arrow, and if you can read it, Valindra. Just been on the boat fairly stationary, doing a little bit of sailing, a bit of motoring. This walk in this now summer heat. Man, <laughs> Strained, <that's> so <laughs> knocked us around a little bit. Lucky we've got lots of electrolytes in those bottles of water that we have. Man. <laughs> now why is it they always build lookouts so <laughs> damn high that you gotta climb so many stairs? <laughs> 670 meters up from the turn off for this one um, and I think there wasn't quite 670 actual stairs but it felt like it yeah but um, well worth it the view is absolutely stunning it is beautiful. so it just bookends what we did yesterday from uh, up at Hill Inlet yeah, looking south down along Whitehaven see where we were on the other end yesterday so good news now is it's all downhill <laughs> We'll get down to Whitehaven, have a swim, and then we've only got uh, nearly three kilometres to walk back. And we launch the dinghy and get back to the boat. And the good news is we've only got one nautical mile to sail to our next destination. Yeah, well, the plan is just to skip round to Turtle Bay on the southern end of Whitsunday Island this afternoon and anchor there for the night. Go the tourists back to Early Beach. A couple of uh, charter boats in here. And look to the north, and the beach is deserted. Northeastly blowing, so it's got no protection, and to be honest, not a great pleasant place to be today on a boat. Beautiful on the beach. Wind's kept us nice and cool. Now we're going to walk the three odd kilometres back to Chances Bay and have a beautiful refreshing swim there. If you're enjoying our videos, please make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. It really does help us with YouTube to reach more people. If you also hit the bell button, you'll be notified each time we release a new episode. Come sail with us again soon.